Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about the anthurium plant and I've had this plant for about a month and it's really not as hard to take care of as everyone thinks it is so I'm going to show you what I've been doing. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the flowers. When I first got this plant it had five flowers on it and by mistake I immediately transferred the plant over into another pot and I didn't know that they liked being in a confined area they don't like a big pot so immediately I lost two of the flowers on it and I started losing some of the leaves so I was really scared that I was going to kill it and I fertilized it too so I did all of the things I shouldn't have done but having said that it has started to adjust really well in this pot and now what I do to take care of it is once a week I water it with about a fourth a cup of water and this pot is probably between six and eight inches across maybe more like six and I put about a fourth a cup of water in it the root doesn't get saturated so um, it does not like standing in water at all the um, roots can rot really really easily so you don't want to put it in a lot of water so also another thing I didn't know that it likes is to mist I mist it every single day and it really loves that it doesn't like to be standing in water but it loves the mist so that's the one thing that I do too also I have it sitting here on this table and you can see the distance from here to the front a little bit of distance so that's the kind of light that it gets every single day I don't move this plant I don't change the air in here I don't turn the fan up higher I have it on low as you can see the the fan is on low and I keep it on low because they don't like a lot of draft so there you go that's how it looks it's in really good health and I find it easier to just put a certain amount of water in there instead of they say take it over there and let the water run through it and all of that, but I tend to overwater when I do all of that. So if I have a measured amount, then I know I'm going to get it exactly right. So there you have it. If you have any questions, just leave them below for me. And thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.